I drop water every day. Consumption, revulsion, apprehension, exhaustion. The work traces the route of Muhammad Abu Khdir the night he was murdered, from the place he was kidnapped to the site where he was burned alive to death. This piece uses two main events as a starting point. Uh, the first time the U.S. landed on the moon under the Apollo 11 mission, and the first time a Filipino woman won the Miss Universe pageant in the Philippines, both of which happened a day apart in 1969. It also includes photos of uh, um, memories from my childhood and uh, renderings of the moon landing, as well as F President Marcos's State of the Nation address. Conflating the contents of these events, it alludes to issues on power and the effects and aftermaths of colonization. Nice transition. Very perfect. Straight cut. Extreme close-up. This topio, through lightly materials, my work builds an utopian atmosphere which beautifully and constantly shines. However, besides this beauty, what else remains in our mind? So, um, all of my four pieces in the full show uh, deals with themes around how the city is created. So, I look a lot around um, how we create our environment and how the environment creates us. The validity of human knowledge is a thematic concern within this work. Its limitations are symbolized through use of specific linguistic elements from the Quran, which are beyond the realm of human comprehension. Documenting my grandfather's memory of his father and his father's mentions, I'm thinking about the connection between past and present and the function of memory in reconstruction. This is a closed theater screen that contains a humid nest. Hatch babies? I used to worry about so many irrelevant things in the past and now I just want to live in the present. My work places the art object into a system outside of the gallery, allowing for it to act as an in, for the art object to act as an industrial material rather than an industrial material acting as an art object. My piece is a gesture in response to the question what does one do when one is confronted with unwanted change and when one is forced to change suddenly? It ponders an ongoing personal question related to my life and art. What do I make now that I can't make the art that I used to love? My work is heavily influenced by Mardi Gras. I was born and raised in Mobile, Alabama, the birthplace of Mardi Gras. Um, the carnivalesque plays a big part in the way that I view the political spectrum, and my work, Perjury, is a commentary on how the carnivalesque has been used in the 2016 American coup. The series of entitled self-portraits is composed of a body of photographs in various states of decay and restoration. It calls ideas of beauty into question and also serves as a mirror to highlight both positive and unfavorable experiences with mental instability and its effect on self-perception. This video piece, named Kiss the Day Goodbye, made by a serious digital painting of the sunset. From the title, you can see how I say goodbye for each day in my life. This body of work includes two pieces, a sculpture and a photograph. Together, they explore self-portraiture, emotional cognitive processing, and the body. They exist everywhere in visible or invisible ways. I use plaster as uh, as my medium, and for me, the quality of this material is very important, as it's somehow related to the idea of the layering of the uh, movement of the liquid. My work is an exploration of memories of interior spaces.
This work is about the boundary or conflict between collective security and individual's privacy. It's about memory construction. Why you see our mountains, and why you do not see our mountains also? A space for simulating how human behaviors interact and change the function of a space. My work alludes to constructed artifices and their relation to our society. By appropriating 8mm family films, I've revealed ethereal remnants of a still image. Through the process of scanning and printing these images on fabric, I've created a space where the beauty within the utilitarian can exist. This is where the act of seeing begins. This is my attempt at remembering the familiar. My work explores illness in the human body and questions the intentions and results of modern medical approaches.